A former Minister of Education, Obiageli Ezekwesili, says the poor leadership style of most African leaders and lack of integrity are responsible for the problems in the continent today. She called on citizens across the continent to unite and change not only the leadership style, but the leadership recruitment process in Africa. Plus TV, Emmanuel Ihejene report is presented from our studio. The former Education Minister and the former Vice President of the World Bank for African Region, Obiageli Ezekwesili, says the issue of leadership has remained a basic challenge for the continent. Ezekwesili said this at the third 2023 graduation ceremony of the School of Politics, Policy and Governance, SPPG, in Abuja. She says only deliberate actions by all Africans will change the narrative. Hence, she and other like minds founded the SPPG to not only change the leadership style, but also the leadership recruitment process in the continent. Any expectation, according to the findings of the research, that there would be any dramatic change in the market of politics on our continent without a transformation of the pipeline that supplies politicians as suppliers of politics to the continent is delusion. You must produce a new pipeline of suppliers of politics of the kind that will produce the right kinds of outcomes of governance. She cautions that the school will not hesitate to withdraw certificates from the graduates who are found wanting when given the opportunity to lead the country in any capacity. You can be taught values, but if internally you have decided to be a person of ignoble behavior, what we have said is that it will manifest and that when it manifests, we will recover a certificate from you. The Vice Chancellor of the school, Alero Otobo, while referring to the 2023 set of 184 graduates as custodians of Africa's culture, urged them to uphold integrity, excellence, resilience, tirelessness and hunger for good and never to negotiate values. She commended a team of faculties and partners for their support and the graduates for making themselves available for learning. And to be a custodian of the future of a great continent, Africa, there are certain critical distinguishing qualities you must exhibit. If there's nothing else that you take away from today, in the next five years, I will ask you whether you remember these distinguishing qualities. Integrity. And Nancy, I want to thank you for that powerful testimony that you gave, that what you have picked up, the value you picked up very early during the 10 months was integrity. That there are things that you are doing before you came to the school that you are no longer doing. It's far from you. Keynote addresses were delivered by the dignitaries invited for the graduation ceremony, including a member of the Parliament of Zimbabwe, Gift Siziba, who emphasized the importance of education. I want you to understand the importance and the power of education. I worked under those circumstances and eventually made sure that I changed most of the people that I grew, with, grew up with. We wanted to go to South Africa, the neighboring country, because it was a bit functional to go there and enjoy life there, work there as domestic workers or working in restaurants like many Zimbabweans who were crossing over to that part um, of uh, the south. I changed my mind. I have privilege. But what about those kids? What about those students who are not able to fund their tertiary education? Certificates and awards of excellence were presented to graduating students who had their first AGM after the ceremony. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.